RVM Macy now with your host, Chuck Stevenson, coming at you with a special uh, fight preview event. So we're going all the way to Kansas City for Invicta FC number 37. It's going to be a full event preview. We'll start with the first fight and then go all the way through. It's headlined by uh, Pro Gonzalez versus Brogan Walker Sanchez in the main event at Flyweight. The originally uh, scheduled main event was supposed to be Jinyu Fry versus Ashley Cummins for the Adam White title. Unfortunately, it fell through due to uh, Jinyu Fry getting a cut by her eye that required stitches. So best of luck to her in her recovery. Actually, I think she's already cleared to get back to training now, unfortunately. Uh, so hopefully we'll see that early next year. In the meantime, let's take a look at these fights should be a nice evening of fights this coming Friday. Uh, first fight is a pair of debutantes, Jordan Kays and Claire Guthrie, and they're, they'll be fighting at Flyweight. Uh, both coming in on pro debut, both riding at least five fight win streaks in the amateurs, um, both having fought within the last year. Kays is the older fighter, 28 years to 24 years for Claire Guthrie. Looks like Kays is moving up in weight. Her last fight is listed at flyweight, and they are the same height at 5 feet 6 inches. Now, I've tried to guess on too many uh, debuting fights, and I'm not going to do that this time. I I don't ever watch amateur fights because I just don't have time to. So I'm actually going to skip a pick on this one. Uh, which brings us to our next fight, a bantamweight fight. Uh, Megan Colley versus Hurricane Hope Chase. Colley's coming in 0-1. Chase coming in 1-1. Now Colley made her pro debut at Invicta 30 five or six a uh, little over a month ago uh, chase is coming off her first pro win at valor fights uh, about four or five months ago uh, let's see Kali is the older fighter 26 years old to chase is 20 years uh, Kali is going to be the slightly taller fighter five seven to five five I don't have a reach available for Chase. Uh, Kali has a reach of 69 inches. Now, I only got to watch the most recent fight of Chase. I did watch Kali's pro debut. Um, I'm going with Hope Chase on this one, and it's due to her uh, very aggressive nature, and she hits hard. Uh, Kali seemed a little, little bit hesitant in her last fight to let her hands go, and it resulted a lot in uh, her opponent, Adelino uh, really kind of like teeing off and showing off some flashy stuff against her. So I got to go with Chase on this one. I, I like what I saw of her aggression and strength and the fact that she throws with bad intentions. So I'm picking uh, Hope Chase to win this one. Moving all the way down to Adam Weight, we have Linda Mah F109 Mahalik coming in at 1 and 0. Oh. Taking on Marissa Spider Monkey Messer Valencia, uh, coming in at three and zero. Oh. Now Mahalik is coming off her pro, successful pro debut via split decision three months ago. Uh, Messer Valencia last fought at CES four months ago, and has a notable win over Invicta veteran Kayana Rain last year. Uh, I don't have an age available for Master Valencia. However, Linda Mihalik is most likely going to be the older fighter. She's coming in at 37 years old. Don't have a height available for Master Valencia either. Uh, Mihalik is coming in at five foot three. Um, I've seen a little bit of each of these, not a whole lot. I'm picking uh, Master Valencia though. Um, She's coming in more experienced. She has uh, that noble win over Kahiana Rain, who is uh, not a great fighter, but she's not easy for anyone. Uh, 
and just by having youth on it on our side um, but looking forward to this one next fight is probably the fight i'm most looking forward to on this card uh shino van hoos versus lindsey van zant also at adam weight uh shino making a long way to return she uh had acl repair surgery a little under two years ago and spent over a year uh, on the recovery and then now she is she has since moved from Idaho to Vegas, and she's with Extreme Couture. Uh, Van Zant is a uh, well-traveled fighter. She's fought uh, tw twice for Bellator and twice for Invicta. Now, both times she's fought in Invicta, she's come up short. So, Van Hoos coming in six and five. Van Zant six and two. Uh, Van Zant's a couple years older. Then Van Hoos, 26 to 24. Van Hoos comes in the taller fighter, 5'4 to 5'2 for Van Zant. Don't have a reach for Van Hoos. Van Zant is coming in with a 64 inch reach. Uh, looking at these two, I would say that Van Zant is the overall more well rounded fighter. Um, Van Hoos does have some nice uh, groundwork, some nice submissions. Submission uh, grappling. Uh, she got a nice armbar over Julian Reicher three years ago. Uh, Van Hoos is one of those fighters. She started like at 17 years old in Japan, and that's how she has like a six and five record at only 24. Uh, I would also say that Van Zant has been in there against. Uh, some better competition the last couple of years or a few years recently uh, that's why I'm picking Van Zant in this one but definitely the fight I'm most looking forward to really happy to see Shino Van Hoos back in action next fight moving up to I believe this is at straw weight uh, Kay Hansen four and three taking on Nicole Nicole Cagliari from Brazil, Hansen coming in four and three, Cagliari coming in four and one. Uh, Cagliari's the older fighter at 22 to Hansen's 20 years of age. Uh, Hansen's actually coming back down to straw weight. Uh, fought her last fight at flyweight, uh, like last month at um, Invicta Phoenix Rising Two or Phoenix Series Two. They are the same height, five feet three inches. Uh, Hansen is listed as having a one inch reach advantage, 63 inches to 62. Now, Hansen is a uh, strong wrestler, uh, decent stand up game. From what I've seen of Cagliari, is mostly uh, stand up. All of her, most of her wins are coming by KO, TKO, um, or lone loss coming by unanimous decision to Siri Kondo who was, I believe, more ex experienced fighter at the time. Hansen has been alternating wins-losses um, over the last year. She's a very active fighter. Uh, won over, held, beat Helen Peralta last year. Lost to Aaron Blanchfield. Picked up a win over Sharon Jacobson. Uh, then lost to Magdalena Sormova. And now, just uh, three weeks ago, defeating Carolina Jimenez. Whereas Cagliari hasn't fought in almost two years. Last fight was a win over Itzel Esquivel uh, via TKO TKO. Oh. I'm not going to lie. I, I think Hansen is a heavily favored fighter in this. Obviously don't have any odds up yet for it. Probably won't until the day of. Um, I think Hansen is the favored fighter. Now one thing I want to mention is that, you know, it's no secret that she's like an Invicta favorite. Now, one thing I will, but the current Invicta matchmaker, if I remember correctly, is a former LFA matchmaker. And Cagliari's last fight was at LFA. So that might be a connection there. Maybe they're looking for the pretty girl. But I really feel that this is a match that is made to get Hansen a boost, like a nice win, get her back on a winning streak over a pretty uh, striker. So 
Either way, I'm picking Kay Hansen to win this. Which brings us to our co-main event of the evening. At flyweight, Maria Agapova, 7-1, and one, taking on Marilia Chocolate Santos, 10-3. and three. Both of these are veterans of Dana White's Contender Series, where they both came up short. Uh, Santos, however, definitely got robbed in that decision, I will say. Agapova, since then, uh, picked up a win in the co-main, I think it was the co-main event, that evening as well, at Invicta Phoenix Series 2, uh, defeated Alexa Connors via submission via rear naked choke. Uh, Santos' last win ten, coming 10 months ago over Erica Alcantara in Brazil, I believe. Uh, looking at the stats, Santos is the older fighter, 26 to 22. Uh, Agapova is the taller fighter, 5'6 to 5'4. Which is surprising because Santos always looks tall in her pictures. And it looks like, according to the stats, Agapova will have a one inch reach advantage, 68 and a half to 67.5 inches for Santos. Um, I, I feel like both of these are watching their fights. They're both primarily strikers, although they do have some submission wins to their credit. Um, and I'm going with Agapova over this one. I feel like her striking is the cleaner strike of the two. Um, she's been training at ATT for most of this year and against with, training with some high-level opponents. I saw her training with, uh, I believe, Yoni and Jacek, uh, Marina Moroz. Santos is still out of um, Brazil. I'm picking Agapova to win this, most likely via decision. Which brings us to our main event, Pearl Gonzalez versus Brogan Walker Sanchez at flyweight. This is moving up. It was the original co-main event. Got promoted. San, uh, Gonzalez coming in 9-4. and four. Uh, Sanchez coming in 6-0, and oh, undefeated. Uh, Gonzalez coming off a loss to the current Invicta flyweight champ Vanessa Porto uh, via technical decision. Sanchez hasn't fought in a little over a year. She's coming off a unanimous decision victory over Miranda Maverick. Now Gonzalez, the older fighter, 33, to Walker Sanchez is 31. Uh, they're both the same height, five feet four inches. I don't have a reach available for Walker Sanchez. Um, Pearl Gonzalez's reach is listed at 68 inches. Pearl Gonzalez, you know, might remember she fought in the UFC twice, came up short both times. Uh, since then, she rattled off that three-fight win streak in Invicta. Uh, I, I think the first fight was at strawweight, and the next two were at um, flyweight, which got her that shot against Porto for the title. Sanchez, uh, Walker Sanchez's fights are a lot more spread out. Um, before she came to Invicta, she hadn't fought for like two years, uh, or almost two years. Came back and got some nice wins there over Sherry Miraski and Miranda Maverick. I'm going by uh, with Pro Gonzalez, just because she's been more active overall in her career and looking at who she's fought she's definitely has um, wins over more experienced fighters and she has that you know that big show experience and I just feel that she's like an overall better more well-rounded fighter so I'm going with Pearl Gonzalez to win no I don't know what method, probably decision. Um, all right, so that's my picks for Invicta FC uh, 37. Um, I think it's be a fun show. Probably be, most likely be doing a fight companion for it Friday night, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, in the meantime, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know who you think's winning the fights. Uh, likes are always appreciated, and hey, what are you waiting for? 
Subscribe to WMMAC now, the best, fastest growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. And we'll see you next time.